And you have a five-year-old child. I do. You're in the photography business. Yes, ma'am. And you wanted to do a photography shoot using, I assume, small children to enhance your business. Yes, ma'am. That would clearly be used for advertising because you weren't going to take pictures of people's children and keep them in your drawer. You understand that. You understand that, right? I understand she wasn't to a point. And in exchange for that, what she offered was she would give you five pictures? Yes, ma'am. So far? She never was specific on how many you got. Okay. And she so never... how many did she give you? She never gave me any. She posted them to Facebook and her business page without my permission and without no, me even seeing them. Me. You never received the photographs that you had agreed to take. Correct. In exchange for using your five-year-old for a photo shoot for her business. That's what the deal was. You may want to spin it any other way you want, but she wasn't doing it as a favor to you to take a picture of your kid. She said, I want to do this for advertising purposes. If I no. use you, Miss Malco, I've been at this business a very long time. Do you have an angelic looking child? Yes. <laughs> you think your child is the most gorgeous child in the world? Yeah. To you, <laughs> to you. I had 13 of those little grandchildren. I think each one of them is angelic looking. But what did you think your son was doing a photo shoot for? It was... Okay. You know, I'm smart. You can either end this courtroom session looking ridiculous, or you can be honest and not try to tailor your testimony to your case. Do you understand what I'm saying? When your friend approached you to do a photo shoot, what did you think the photo shoot was for? It was to help her to help get her, clients. No, help her what? Get clients. It's right. leaning towards the animal community. Right. Help her get clients. I don't care in what community. If she posed with your son and a dog, whatever it is, you knew that the pictures would be used for advertising. I thought that Whether I it was, you can try to tailor the testimony, but it's so crystal clear, common sense, what was being done. Your child is five years old. When your son was born, your friend, who's been a photographer for how long? Maybe a year. One year, so I can't say when he was born. When he was four, did she ever take photographs of your son and just give them to you? No. So, we did a family session in the past that I paid her for. So there was a family session. In the past, Just yes. a second. Great. That you paid her for as a photographer. Correct. And she gave you pictures because you paid for them. Yes. Did you pay for this photo shoot. She didn't want now, any money. Just a second. Don't say what she wanted. That goes into her head. My, the question is, I have, did you pay for the photo shoot? I didn't have to. Ms. Your Buckle, Honor. It's not going to it's not going to go well for you. She I don't said know what that she wanted a free session if she could use models. She said free session. I have a screenshot of a that. models for her business, not to put in her desk drawer. And the only reason I make this statement to you is because you and your mother have such a ridiculous counterclaim that she posted the pictures that she took of your child without prior approval. Just your Honor, Illinois hey. law states hey. that she has to have written permission Just to post a photograph in the business. Let me explain something to you. Were you there when they had the discussion? Just, I that question was not is, there, where, Your Honor. That, you weren't there. No, Don't Your speak. Honor. That was their understanding. And maybe the fact that they were friends for a long time, they didn't think any more than that. But the understanding was she was going to take pictures of your grandson and use them for advertising. And now you're complaining that she used them for advertising on her web page and didn't get permission. Because she, last time when we had it, it, she allowed me to see the pictures prior. She never allowed me to see pictures prior to her posting them on... At just a second. Let's go through it. So... Now, the question is, you didn't like the pictures? You have to be very careful of where you're going because that's her claim. Her claim is that you posted your own activism in a subtext on a picture that she took without her permission. She didn't have a right just, to the photo. Just a second. I'm telling you what her complaint is, and I'm, I'm bringing it back to your answer. Because if you didn't like the pictures, which is what you said to me, you said she always showed me the pictures first before she used them. That's what you said. Well, that would suggest to a dumber person that you didn't like the pictures that she posted. But that's not true because you and your mother republished them. So you must have liked them unless you're stupid and published pictures of your child that you didn't like. You didn't do that, did you? I liked the photo. Right. 